You have asked Katrina in our last video in the Audi A3 Cabriolet if we can show the car with the roof up. And yes, of course, we're doing it and during doing this we can also show you the whole process. I think it takes a little bit too long. It could take a bit shorter nowadays. But you can open and close the roof until a speed of 50 km an hour and that's quite impressive. So let's see how the roof folds up now. And count the seconds here below. So what do you think about the design when the roof is up now? I think it is very beautiful still and sometimes I think it is maybe even more beautiful with this contrast roof. It is available in different colors but usually you take the black one because it's probably the most durable and uh, you don't see stains on it so much. I think when the roof is closed you especially see this new form with the longer rear end here now that's really got this classic convertible form and that makes it so beautiful. Um, we got a Golf R uh, at our editorial office at the moment as well and there we could see a difference because um, the predecessor of this car kind of ended here, directly here. And the new Golf Cabriolet right now it kind of ends here and you see and then there's even a little bit more here and that makes the car so much more mature in my opinion and therefore I would also go for the Audi A3 Cabriolet instead of the Golf Cabriolet at least design wise. So and you could think there's a bigger trunk then but that's not the case but you asked us also to tell us more about the trunk we got a little experiment for you here today because we wanted to know well, a small suitcase, a trolley, no problem, of course. But what about a really big standard suitcase? <laughs> we had to do some uh, tricky stuff and eventually it worked. Um, this is the trunk cover here. And only if you remove the trunk cover, then you could really fit in here this huge suitcase. Um, it's, it's, you know, Katrina is going on a, on a trip for us and oh, there's really no fake here. It's <laughs> like 30 kilos or, or whatever. The back is already hurting. So now you see, um, I got this net here to protect what's below there and also um, that the suitcase isn't jumping around inside the trunk. And then it's really possible also to fit a big suitcase in here. Um, by the way, it is also possible when um, the roof is up as it is now, have you seen it? Then we have even more space. Then it's kind of easier to also to fit uh, the suitcase in. But we, you see, and that's kind of also, also the um, trunk of the Golf, by the way. Um, it's, it's higher because at the Golf, the roof folds up here. It doesn't go inside the trunk. And we wanted to know of course, because we're always driving with open top, of course, that's out of the fuel. We want to know if the suitcase also fits in here when you can open the roof. And so by this it worked. If you would put the usual cover in here, you see, then you got really limited space. Wait a minute, I have to remove the lid first. That's a bit tricky. It comes, comes below that. So, that's the way. Okay, you see, this is very limited. And by this, this big suitcase would not fit in there. 
So, but because you can re really remove that here, I can, okay, I can show you. Katrina tells me, I'm sure to show you. Okay, you see, that won't work. It will never work. But we can now try push it in again. So it's really suitcase testing here today. Then you see, that works actually. So, that means when you're driving with a closed roof, also the big suitcase fits in here. When you want to drive with the open top, you have to remove the cover below and then it really works. I think that's quite an uh, okay solution, so you can still use this car for your everyday groceries and also when you're going to the airport. And so to sum this car for me up, because you also um, ask us what I personally think about this car, um, to be honest, I think this Cabriolet is at the moment one of the best convertibles on the market overall, because it's that compact that it's very sporty, it's a very sporty attitude when you're driving, so it's a lot of fun. I think it's even more fun than maybe some of the greater convertibles, for example the Audi A5. This one is way more fun, I must say. Um, and still the price is still achievable. Okay, Audi is never cheap, but I mean it's kind of off the middle if you compare it to greater um, convertibles. And all of the technical stuff like uh, the engines and the suspension and the overall concept with this great design. I think this is kind of one of the leading convertibles here at the moment. Then you also um, uh, asked us, had the discussion, um, is it a women's car or is it uh, maybe a car for everyone? Um, I must say, in my opinion, it depends on the alloys on the side, because um, I would maybe pick a, a bigger alloy, maybe 18 inch or something like that, and uh, some women do not care about the alloys so much. Um, someone told me today, oh, uh, my wife, would that would be the favorite car of my wife, and then I told him, okay, I wouldn't have a problem driving it uh, as a man, because I think the front is still very uh, masculine, and it's a very great looking car still. Um, and I must say, I also had fun with it when you just drive out and in the basement garage. It's very easy. You don't even have to fold the mirrors in um, because it's also rather slim. So there are a lot of advantages having such a compact convertible. And I'm not sure um, because I'm also mostly a fan of this great uh, Gran Turismo. And I'm meanwhile thinking if I should also step down to such a compact. So I really enjoyed very much, very sporty feeling, very compact feeling, and I can just recommend it. And um, about the next car, I've already told you in the beginning of this video, um, we're having a Golf Cabriolet, actually a Golf R Cabriolet, so very powerful, um, that will be the fiercest um, competitor to the Audi S3 convertible. I've reviewed you um, that in the beginning of the year. Also, again, video link below. And this will be very interesting because we have this one now, uh, we can draw some comparisons, and of course, we will have a look at the performance. By the way, one last thing I already noticed about in the comparison probably the Audi here to open the side windows. We got four buttons for each window, and we got this center button. I can control every window at the at every window at the same time. I can even show you. Okay. By the way, if you want to see uh, how the key looks, that's the way. This one folding up you usually don't need. So it's a um, keyless system here as well now. But keyless system means he always wants to have it in. So, one button, and everything goes down. And actually, the Golf R does not have this button. It just has these four buttons. And when you want to close, uh, when you uh, want to go down every window, you have to put every single button of it. So that's very comfortable to have this one here. And just one small difference between Audi and the Golf. Um, another thing, by the way. You have a limited space here in the back, and we're showing you that when we open the top again. I want to open the roof again to show you the wind cut. So let's count again of the opening.
By the way, this is a very logical function here, because if you pull it, the roof goes down, and if you push it, the roof goes up. So that's kind of the logical direction. In some other cars, um, for example, it's also in the Golf Cabriolet, and we've also seen it, for example, in the Jaguar F-Type, it's the other way around, and you're always mixing it up, because why should the roof go down when you push the button forward. I think this way is more logical. After some time of figuring it out, we also found a very easy way to put the wind cut in and out. First of all, pull this one down. And then you have to pull this piece up and then you can fold it in the middle and then you can easily take it out because it has Four points here and there. They got a rubber ending. And then it's always also a bit complicated how to fold it in again. See, um, I'm not. Yeah, that's the trick. And then you can stuff it in the trunk again. At the very bottom. Let me show you the color. There's an extra bag for it. So this is a very clean solution actually. Let me put it below here. And it's all gone. And now we can finally also show you if we pull these two here, then we can load through, stay here with the camera. Um, wait a minute. Now, finally. So, and then, for example, if you want to take your skiers with you, or maybe uh, you would to carry around some uh, wooden sticks or whatever, or want to go buy some new furniture, you can even use your convertible for that. Um, that's not quite often available in convertibles that you got very long loading through them. And furthermore, when you put the seats up again, of course, you see, you can just put things on there. So, for example, a large travel bag. Um, this is a seat as I am sitting here right now. You see, there's I don't have to sit there. There's no space uh, for the legs. And also the headroom is limited when the roof is closed. Um, I've tested it in the Golf Cabriolet as well. Um, there's a little bit more space in the back than this, as well for the head as for the knees. So, this was our detail and question or Q&A video on the Audi A3 Cabriolet. And um, always when we get cars here, just ask your questions. And sometimes we got them a few days longer then, and then we can do another video and answer your questions. And if the car is already gone, then we just answer your questions in the comments then. So thanks again for watching and see you at the next episode.